There is a brand new AI platform for text to video generation. It's called Dream Machine. Now I've been using it for about a day now. So I'll show you some of the generations. I found a bunch of them online that are pretty good. Then I'll show you exactly how to use it. I'll give you the prompt here to use inside of ChatGPT to come up with really useful prompts. Now we still don't have access to Sora, so I'm not sure if Sora is much better than this or if it's comparable to this, but we'll find out when Sora rolls out. But this is one of the best ones I've seen so far. And all you have to do is go to lumalabs.ai slash dream machine. Now Luma Labs, they have other products too, but dream machine is completely going viral right now. Just press try now and you could try it completely for free. In fact, they have a free plan right now that you could use. And I've just been using the free plan. I haven't bought a subscription yet. But all you have to do is type in your prompt with text or you could upload an image here. So I've generated some images inside of Midjourney and I've uploaded those and then it uses those as your prompt. So I'll give you some of the examples here that I came up with. Now this one I created with Midjourney and I uploaded it here and I said, Knight raises sword. Definitely did not do that, but it's actually pretty good movement over here. And these video clips right now are five seconds. That's the length of the video clips that it makes for you. Okay, here's another mid journey one image created there. And the turn, you see girl looks out the window. It gets a little bit weird right there. And here's a prompt that I'll include in the description below this video, but you could ask ChatGPT to help you come up with these very detailed prompts for different scenarios. So in this case, I just wanted to get a variety of different genres. So I asked for sci-fi, fantasy, horror, and it gave me a bunch of different ones that I tested out. So this is one way, if you just wanna take this inside of ChatGPT, then when it gives you a prompt, just take the prompt from ChatGPT, go back to Dream Machine, paste that prompt and then send it out. And then you could also make sure enhanced prompt is checked on over here and press send. I've already used this exact same prompt over here. So I'll show you some of the results that I got. But for the most part, some of the results were really good and some of them were not good at all. Like this one, it's a drone going through a European castle. That looks fantastic, right? That looks really good. It's starting to look uh, very cinematic. Here's a dense ancient forest. This is the very first prompt I use in this platform and it's not too bad. Okay, here's one I try to do, but a lot of unexpected things happen. I'm not sure this car is turning into a person. But again, for that amount of movement, like we couldn't get anywhere near this kind of movement before out of most text to video models. So this is pretty interesting how much it's given us, but it's not still very usable as far as making it look completely like a movie. Okay, here's another one. This one, again, I used that same prompt in ChatGPT to get this abandoned asylum looms under a stormy dark sky. Okay, kind of an interesting start to this. And look at some of the details that I've given it and it's actually pulled those off in the shot. But the camera movements, I think are by far the most impressive part of this platform. And the fact that they're giving us a bunch of free credits here is really interesting. So we could try it out. I've been waiting months to try Sora out. This one you could try right now. Let me know in the comment section how your results are coming out and I'll see you on the next video.